No, and I guess maybe that that then leads to uh, that very issue that the demand uh, is not that great today, and so uh, the services are not too readily available, and so the changes are not being made. And I think that really gets down to the nub of it, that what's needed is to have a, a really a better understanding of the problem that the country faces, as well as the advantages to the individual that can accrue by making the modifications. But if there's no demand, and most builders will build a house to meet what they perceive to be the demand, is it realistic to expect voluntary, voluntary improvements? Well, it, uh, that's, a, that's a very good question, and, uh, and I don't think the way things stand now that it is, and I think that there has to be a, a much, uh, much broader uh, development of the understanding. That's partly IRTA's responsibility, but it's really more the responsibility of the Federal Energy Administration. I think there are, there are quite a few reasons. It's a, it is obviously a, a comp, very complex matter. There are lots of industries involved, but I guess uh, there are a lot of people who are, who are really not convinced that there is a, we are, we're presented with a very serious situation, and I think they, they feel that uh, somehow or other the, the oil industry and, uh, and possibly the Arabs working together have, uh, uh, are, are playing games and that the that really and truly there is ample, there are ample reserves if we just go out and find them and use them. And what I'm trying to express is that uh, this really isn't so, that there really is a serious problem and it's not, uh, it's not being manufactured. That there, there, really is a, um, there really is going to be the problem of dwindling resources in oil and gas, and we're relying right today 75 to 78 percent on oil and gas. So we've got to get over to some other energy choices.